Welcome back to Major Discussions. I'm your host, Vega Khodorevsky, and I'm here with my co-host, Melinda Brancato. Hey, um, we're joining you after a long hiatus between spring break and then just general major chaos. So, um, <laughs> but we're excited to be um, back. Yeah, to bring us back to our regularly scheduled programming, we have with us arguably one of the most active members of our campus, the lovely Kay Jimenez. Hi. <laughs> we're Yay. so glad to have you here. It's so long overdue. I mean, you've been a fan of the show and been trying to get on since our freshman year. Yes. Uh, I was just telling you before the show started, like, I'm kind of happy we waited to have you on, though. No, I agree. Yeah, because we're a we're lot better, better at this, at this <laughs> than we once yeah. were. And yeah. so, you know, it's really important that you're on. And now we tonight. have more to talk about because we've accomplished so much. Exactly. So. Right. We're not, it's I mean, true. we're not just like freshmen running around the hallways, like, oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Kay was involved with so much from the beginning, so. Absolutely, yeah. and so speaking of that, why don't you kick us off into our normal, you know, questions of who are you? So let's just basic, like, where are you from, all that jazz. Um, okay, so my name, for, uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Kay he Kayleen, but a lot of people call me Kay Jimenez, I go by Kay. Um, I'm from the Bronx, New York City. I'm from Edenwall Project, so it's the largest projects in the Bronx. Um, I'm from a secluded area called the island. So even though I'm from the projects, like my building was like in its own little area. Um, I have seven sisters. That's crazy. Two brothers. Um, uh, I love food. I don't eat red meat. <laughs> and yeah, like I'm very involved on campus. Nice. Yeah, so we mentioned before that you are super involved on campus, but can you give us a rapid fire list of all the organizations you're a part of and what they do? Um, so mm, I'm a part of all the Alana Orgs, Black Student Union, Asian Student Association, affiliated with just all the Alana Orgs, um, Bold Black Beauties, all multicultural orgs in general. So that, I'm an SA, her campus, Florence Center, two and a half. Uh, Sorry if I'm missing anything else, A, amen. Just basically uh, the whole alphabet of all the orgs. Basically, like, I'm, yeah. All of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's such a lot. That is, there's, it's so many. Um, but it's, it's really admirable to see you do all of that. So if you, if you had to pick one, or if you just want to give a general answer, how they've impacted you the most? Mm, just me, like, made me more of a well-rounded person. Um, I feel like it definitely made me have a stronger work ethic. Mm -hmm. Not only, not just because like I didn't have a stronger work. I came into college with a strong work ethic, but it it, it helped you it, grow that. Yes, definitely and for expand. sure. Um, yeah. So. And now again, if you could pick one of those orgs out of the the list of them that you gave that you find to be your favorite or that you've that has made the largest impact on your life, maybe you you see most of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. we won't tell anyone. <laughs> um, I mean, no, I'm I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite. Okay. I love all my orgs because you know they each have their own individuality. Um, I will say though, I would have to say Woman Center would have impacted me the most because I'm a Black trans woman on this campus, and Women Center in Bold Black Beauties um, just created a, like such a safe space for me and like. The members are so supportive, so yeah, those two. But I love all my orgs. Don't do me. <laughs> I, don't do me. <laughs> yeah, with all of your campus involvement, um, I know you recently switched your major. How does public relations play into that? Um, so PR came about because, like, one, I just didn't really like the news aspect of Broadcasting. I love the communications, you know, it's broadcasting and mass communication. So I resonate more with the mass communications aspect, but with the broadcasting, I'm kind of like, um, where is this going to play in my life? So with PR, I kind of just went on degree works. I looked at, you know, the what if aspect, and I saw that a lot of my credits matched up with it. So I spoke to my advisor. He didn't mention that I had a business, and I was already, like, you know, promoting that all by myself and doing things within that nature. So I'm like, okay, why not do PR? That's awesome. And I will say this, I felt like a giddy little schoolgirl when you told us because you switched your major like five days before yeah. the filming of the show. Yeah. So let's go PR. We got another one of the people. You um, left us. You <laughs> left us. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
But I am curious, is there anything that you haven't done? I mean, ser like seriously, is there anything that you haven't done? Yes, there's a lot of things that I haven't done. Like, yeah, I haven't done. And that you want to do, or maybe you've been a little timid to try out. Yeah, like there's a lot of stuff in our city that I want to do. Like, um, I wanted to just, like check out the Newman Center. Like, I am a Christian, and you know, I heard they do a lot of great things there. Um, I always wanted to join like, a, like you know, like a chemistry club because I love like I came in as a bio major, so like I am interested in like STEM and all that other stuff. But like you know, women in STEM, um, women in computing, just things yeah. like that. Because I am interested in stuff like that. That's fair. I mean, I remember. That's the funny thing too. Is that's how we met. Is uh, we were in a bio seminar class together. <laughs> yeah. And then we had a professor, mm -hmm. and very quickly we looked at each other. And we're like, this isn't gonna work out. Nah. This isn't gonna work out. And nothing against the professor. They're great. It's just the material. Rotifers. I've gotten an email from him before, <laughs> being like, so I guess you didn't like Rotifers, huh? <laughs> um, I ended up getting like a C in that class. But yeah, hey. I mean, it's tough to, to excel in a class that you yeah. don't feel passionate about. But I'm, I'm so excited that you've joined PR. Yeah, I'm excited your, for your you. Your trajectories are so similar. I know, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I changed that major already twice, so. Yeah. Hopefully you'll settle in. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. great. And you do so much on campus. Um, but when we get back, we'll talk more about this. Stay tuned. Yay. Say, President Stanley, whenever there's bad weather, who would you turn to? I'd turn to Storm Team 10. No, right but here. you've got to say it like this. Storm Team 10. Say it with me. Storm, Storm Team 10. Jill told me it was Kitty from Glee. Yeah, what it's is it? It's Al Roker. <laughs> So outside of school, I know that you're also an entrepreneur. You sell beauty products for your company, Bell by KK. Tell us more about this. How did that come to fruition? Um, so Bell by KK, I started it when I was 17 years old. Wow. So um, I came from a business high school called the Academy for Scholarship and Entrepreneurship, where I, they teach us classes from marketing, entrepreneurship, um, innovation, um, AP Computer Science and Virtual Enterprise, which was the class I took in 11th grade. It cultivated me, and then during COVID, um, like it was just like a lot happening, and I always knew I wanted to have my own business, and I was already in that school. So I just started like jotting down some ideas. Like I've always been into like, you know, lip gloss, and I've always been, in, like always had like a skincare routine, but like I didn't want to have like a makeup line. Like mm -hmm. that's just something that I just, didn't want to do like I just recently got into makeup so I was always drawn to like the all natural things of it so the name wasn't Bell by KK at first it was KK Cosmetics but then somebody already had that name and um my friend sent it to me I'm like okay so now I have to make a new name so Bell by KK Bell means beauty and 
French, I think? Yes, yeah. it does. In French. And whenever I see um, Belle by KK, I just think of um, like Beauty and the Beast, but the beauty part, of, co of course, because yeah. you just think of like Belle, the princess. So it's you know? Belle by KK, Belle means beauty in French, and then the rest was history. My school actually, my high school actually gave me seed money, so they invested in my business as well. So. That's wow. awesome. So it sounds like you've got a lot of things going for you. What are some of your like brand hopes? Um, I plan to, so I know it's going to happen. I just have to be patient and wait my turn. But like, I want to be a multi-million dollar Multi brand. Yeah, one of the like Fortune 500 companies? Yeah. Okay. And then I know you've done I some like pop-up shops on campus too. So like, do you have any of those coming up that maybe we can look um, forward to? So possibly, you know, I can't say, I can't say too much. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so the Asian Student Association, the Asian Student Association is having their ASA fashion show and, you know, who knows, maybe Baba Kiki is going to be there. Ooh. Well. We better stay tuned then, shouldn't yeah. we? I mean, I know I would want to get some Bell by KK. Yeah. I need some lip gloss. Yeah. You know? Between your classes, involvement, and your company, it sounds like you juggle a lot of responsibilities. How do you balance it all? Um, so I always tell myself I came here to get a degree. So I never just let things consume me. Um, Google, Cal Google Calendar is my best friend. So when people see my Google Calendar, they just get like, wow, like, I feel like I've seen it before. That? I get scared. There's <laughs> a, you have everything like um, color coded. So, you know, I always make sure like I have things where I do my homework first and I will not be going to any programs. I will not be going to any parties. I will not be going to anything if I don't that I have homework that needs to be done. So I'm fine with just four hours of sleep. So, yeah, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> So you're just going to like chop that recommended dosage that doctors give you? Um, no. <laughs> like so get your full eight hours of sleep. <laughs> I am just fine with four hours. And listen, listen. How so do you if, you if you only get four hours of sleep, you can get products. Spelled by KK. And she went anti <laughs> aging so fast. Um, um, <laughs> so we're going to jump to a more serious note. Um, and this is going to become like one of my most... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is going to become one of the most asked questions that I give to people, and okay. it's, it, it's more serious. So I know my freshman year especially, I struggled a lot with imposter syndrome. And so what, when I was struggling with it, nobody ever wanted to talk about it. Nobody, or not wanted to, but I, I was looking for things out there, and there was nothing. Nobody, a lot of people didn't even know what it was. Yeah. So first, do you know what it is? Ballpark, kind of. Ballpark, okay. So it's like, it's the idea that you feel like you're an imposter for success that you've had or you've gained even if you yeah. work really really hard for it you just you always feel like this could be somebody else you know what I mean so my next question for you is have you ever struggled with that yes I have um not f all the time frequently but I just always feel like I need to be like <clears throat> granted I'm doing all these big things and you know I'm paving away for myself but I feel like this always is how I could do more Mm -hmm. Or like there's things, there's times where it's like, is this so real? Or like maybe I should be taking a step back or I'm doubting myself, you yeah. know? It's that doubt and it's that, had, I, I've got here. I can't, I like blinked and I'm, now I'm here. Yeah. And it's like you did all these things to get there, but then how do you deal with that? Is there an expectation yes. that you feel pressured? And maintain? I think the thing with me is like I'm, I'm always working like I'm losing. Like I could be like top number one or like I could be like where I want to be, but I'm still going to work like if I'm losing. Oh, I'm still going to work because I have more things to accomplish. Like, when I accomplish one goal, I have to make more goals to accomplish. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a whole list. It's a whole process. Like, I never just sit on one goal because when I accomplish something, I try to make an even bigger goal. Yeah. And I know, like, a lot of times what feeds into what we call imposter syndrome can also be, like, barriers to entry for marginalized identities, that oftentimes there are those barriers to entry. And, mm -hmm. you know, systems and plays do want it to be someone else who has that success. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you face those, you can feel like an imposter because you feel like, oh, I'm not meant to be where I am. Yeah. And yet you are, and you're accomplishing so much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're playing some fun games. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Shine on that bling. Look that at the bling. Look at the, do we got a diamond test drive? Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. 
out of 10 recommend on Yelp. I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face filters. Okay, filters. you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm gonna need that back. No. Nope. Kevin! What we've got up next is Two Truths and a Lie. So this is a classic game to play. The premise is in the name. So each of us will come up with two truths and one lie. And then we will have to guess which item each player told us is the lie. So since Kay is our guest, she'll be starting us off. OK, so um, <laughs> I'm going to be president. So these are my two truths and one lie. So I'm going to be president of the Women's Center next year. I've been in an eight-month relationship, and I played the guitar. Okay, so what are you thinking? I'm gonna find out the truth. <laughs> are we able to ask follow-up questions? No. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Actually, mine was two lies. <laughs> two lies. <laughs> all right. All right. So we're gonna. Oops. Uh -oh. Sorry, I just think we're gonna find out. We're gonna guess the truth. That's fine. That's okay. totally fine. So I think that you, huh? I think you are gonna be president of Women's Center next next year. Okay. I think, and if not next, if not next year, then the year after for sure. Okay. But I think that's the truth. I think the eight month relationship is the truth. Those are both a lie. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh. What was the other one then? So I played the guitar. You played the, since when? I started playing like six months ago. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. What, uh, do you have a song that you know? Um, no. Not okay. yet. I Can you tell that I'm stalling because I didn't think of my stuff ahead of time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So are we doing two truths and a lie still or two lies? No, we're going to do two truths and a lie. All okay. right. I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. fine. Um, <laughs> hmm. I can go next if you want. Or you oh, do you have yours? Yeah. Go ahead. Go. So, um, I'm an Australian citizen. I performed in the Brave New Voices Slam Poetry Competition based in San Francisco um, in 2021. And... <laughs> <laughs> That's your lie. <laughs> this um, That's your lie. And... I thought of three truths. Oops. <laughs> 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 I just realized the third thing so I thought of So what we've learned here today Oops. is that Fega is not a liar. <laughs> no. I thought of three Apparently. truths and then I forgot. Yeah, oops. Okay. That's almost as bad as the orange fire truck. I mean, at least I did one, tr one <laughs> truth and two That's lies. Fine. I okay. did the whole opposite. Let's do this. Okay, ready? My, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of cheetah print. My favorite flower is a rose. And my middle name is Annabella. I think the lie is Annabella. And you? No, I think the lie is the cheetah prince. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if your favorite flower is a rose. OK. So, Kay, you changed your answer and you got it right, and I thought this was going to throw you off. So, these oh. awesome socks, if we can get a little zoom in on Cam 3, that would be awesome. These <laughs> awesome socks are a gift from my stepmother, Carrie. Thank you. Here's Thanks, a shout Carrie. out. And it's because she loves cheat print and I hate it, and so she thought it would be funny, and that's why <laughs> I'm wearing these okay. tonight, even okay. though they don't match. Nice. Um, I, my favorite flower is a rose. Oh, nice. 
It's also why we have yellow roses on the set. Oh. I like pink roses personally because oh. that's my favorite color. I love tulips. Really? Um, and what was my other? <laughs> oh yeah, my middle name is Annabella. Oh yeah, I was pretty and sure it was. I, I have a radio it. show name called Bam, which you guys should totally tune into Wednesdays from seven to eight, and it'll also be a podcast on Spotify. I'm totally just so plugging myself right now. Yeah, um, your Instagram came recommended to me, and I saw A, so I was like, okay. yeah, because <laughs> if you flip it around, Mab is Bam, so. Oh. I just think it's fun, and it can be business nice. and media. It's a show of whatever I, whatever I want it That's to be. That's very creative. Um, nice. So, knock on the door, and I'll let you in. It's okay. Seven to eight <laughs> Wednesdays. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, Faye, you kind of butchered your your segment, but oops, it's okay. We'll, yeah. We'll move on. <laughs> I was like, I have them, and then I realized I thought of three truths, as if I was just looking yeah. at like fun facts. I don't know how mm -hmm. I came about telling two two lies and one truth. Like, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how I. T I, I feel like every I was time just giving fun facts. Even though <laughs> <laughs> at this point, at this point, literally, I was just like, oh, fun facts, and then I was like, oh no, the third thing I had prepared. I think I was gonna say um, the third one is I grew up in an ultra orthodox Jewish family, and I was like, that's also true. Oh no, I just said three. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, you could have said three you were Catholic. Three. Catholic and and you never would have thought like a liar on TV. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, don't go anywhere. <laughs> when we come back, there's gonna be a lot more fun after the break. Hey there, I'm Al Roker, class of 76. Yes, way back in 76. Back when the earth was cooling. You're watching <laughs> WTOP. The kind of late, kind of late, kind of late, the kind of late show with Chloe and Anna. Like licorice, Twizzlers, absolutely nasty. The thought of turkey is just nauseating. I, I think can't. you're wrong, is what I think. You think I'm wrong a lot of time. I do think you're wrong a lot. When you look at the number of disasters in the US, chances are every area will deal with some kind of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, Chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. He's down, Kevin. But I'm gonna drive home. There are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. I guess I have really been looking for love in this dating app. Yep, I'm definitely gonna call her right home. Welcome back to Major Discussions. As always, I'm Melinda, and up next, Faye is gonna take it away with our next game. The name of the game is, Who is Most Likely? We'll be pulling scenarios from a deck of cards and having a major discussion of who is most likely to do the action on each card. And according to Mel, we can't vote for ourselves. So even no. if it seems like one of us is the best choice, we cannot vote for ourselves, so we're not gonna vote She's for ourselves. She's salty about it if you guys can't <laughs> <talk>. So, <laughs> Kay, once again, is gonna pull our first. She's gonna shake the basket up a little bit. Let me shake. And you. then we're gonna pray that people can read my handwriting, because <laughs> it's on ripped pieces of paper. Okay. I couldn't find the flashcards. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to be the best at negotiating? I think Melinda. My vote's gonna be, oh, this is tough. I'm gonna say K, sorry. Okay, I thank you. Okay, so I win that one. <laughs> um, all right, oh, and I'll keep the card, okay. so then we, we can count them at the end if we want, or we'll just find out after, I don't know. All right, who is most likely to ignore their engine light? I'm currently doing that, so. <laughs> 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 um, I can't vote for myself, though, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Faye. Oh, I don't have a car, so. <laughs> I'm gonna vote you, because okay. you're doing it. What about you? Um, I know how to drive, but I don't have a car yet. Okay, so who of the, so am I okay. the automatic vote? You, Because yeah. I have a car, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, because you have a car and you're doing it. I should have my car this summer, though. That's so fair. who the, would the be? The controller also <laughs> votes me, so thank you. Everyone votes me. Who would be the best tour guide? Um, okay, 
Yeah, I would say K also. Okay. <laughs> Who are you voting? <laughs> um, I would say Faye. Oh, I had considered doing it, but I'm not. Um. I'm too squirrely. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely to pick a lock. Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say... I think Faye would. I think you'd lock yourself out and you'd pick a lock. You're resourceful. <laughs> yeah, I probably would. Okay. I've done it. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm, I'm... Oh, wait, we're getting into the person I who wins? I've tried to pick a lock before. I was unsuccessful, oh. but I really did try hard. <laughs> you see, I grew up in the projects. We don't pick locks. Like, mm -hmm. you can't even pick a lock. Like, you know? <laughs> we just don't do that I, just, I couldn't find a key to something. <laughs> it's a whole, whole mess. You see, um... My the building I grew up in, instead of picking the lock, we popped it. Like you just pop the door open. Wow. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? If, no, you know, if you're from Edenwall, then you know what I'm talking about. All right. Most likely to win limbo. Limbo. Okay. Mm. I'm thank you. Okay. Uh, I agree. I think you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Also, I totally forgot about the grab and card rule, so we're just gonna ignore that. We're all winners tonight. Um, okay. Who is most likely to great. be a military general? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you give that vibe. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, you got you're the one in the suit tonight. Okay. okay. Between the two of us, who? You. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to go with Faye. Faye again. Most likely to learn another language. I was gonna say, I would say Faye too, but I was kind of caught because I feel like you would, you know, mm. take on another language. I would, but like. But I know you, I think Faye already knows multiple. Right. So. Yeah, I can. That's her uh, thing. I can speak English and Russian, and I understand Hebrew and Yiddish. That's crazy. So. I could never. I did high school Spanish. <laughs> I, I would vote for K between the it. two of you, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, who, who is most likely to bail you out from jail? I'm gonna say Faye, old reliable here. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I patted you like that. I don't know. Like that's a good. I'm a, I guess I'll second that Faye. Like Thank you. <laughs> I'll second that. Um, I'd hope you say me. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, Melinda. You give me rights to Syracuse. Yeah. <laughs> <you>. Syracuse. <laughs> um, most likely to win a fight. Um, okay. <laughs> I would, mm, I'm sorry, Melinda, I was just gonna say Faye, because you look like a, a sweet introvert girl. <laughs> That's not My brothers that. would disagree I'm with I'm like, okay. I, I don't know, but I feel like there is a rougher side of you that would win the fight, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you give me that calm vibe, though. I can, I can see you it see happening. That? You see that? Look, look here, look here. Become a reality TV star. Melinda, PR queen. Yep. I feel like Faye would. I think, I, but here's the thing. I don't know. I don't think you'd be like typical reality star. I think that you'd like host it and like, do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> Who's your pick? My pick. You. Okay. Yeah. PR queen. Okay. You listen. You're. You've PR been killing it at major discussions. No, but you, just you switched are like amazing. Like if you go on her Instagram, her personal Instagram, at that, it's always some PR thing going on. Yeah. Like, oh wow. I don't know. I just use my story a lot. I use it. Um, okay, who is most likely to get married in Vegas? Hey, I'm sorry. No, I say Faye. You and your what? girlfriend give me hope. I swear. <laughs> to God. Um, I think say Mel. I don't know why. I can just. I'm impulsive enough. Honestly. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's not just good. like we're in Vegas. Okay, let's get married. I don't think I would ever actually do that. Please. Whatever yeah, happens in Vegas. Yeah, it's not going to be. Vegas. It's not going to be in Vegas, but I hear where they're coming from. This is going to be our final question of the okay, night. Okay, most likely to stay calm in a crisis. Faye. I'm going to say K. I want to say myself, but I know I can't be myself. <laughs> so I'm going to say Belinda. Thank you. Okay, right, so, so we all voted for each other. It's a one, yeah. one, one look around. One. I appreciate your confidence. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with nice. you. I'd love to be that person who's like a sense of calm. but I, um, I'm, I feel like I'm always calm because I grew up in such a like, uh, area. That's but. fair. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like you're involved in so many organizations. Like you have to stay calm to juggle everything. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. I have to. That's our show, folks. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Thanks so much to Kay for joining us here tonight. Of tonight course. was full of laughs and we really appreciate it. But you. you can follow us on our Instagram, major underscore discussions for more behind the scenes looks. And tune in <laughs> next time. Throughout the week. So tune in next time for more major discussions. Ah!